Welcome to a weekly vlog. So it is the 28th of March. By the time you're seeing this, it's probably quite a while later. As you will see throughout this week, the time does not really exist to edit the videos that I'm filming. So when I do get a chance in like the mid sem break around Easter, I'll try and edit this. Every week's been a bit wild. I've been having lots of breakdowns. If you've seen my recent vlogs, I kind of talked about it. Um, but I'm really trying to, to not have a breakdown. <laughs> I'm trying to just stay focused on the bigger picture so when I'm really overwhelmed by how much I have going on to just breathe and remember that uni is just a small part of a big life and so are all the little things that I find myself stressing about. Anyway, so today's Monday. It's a big uni day so I moved around my work days to try and squish them up a little bit more and moved my Monday work and added it to Tuesday to make Tuesday kind of a big work day and Monday a big uni day. So I just have some online classes and then just more time to get more study done. Basically, Monday's a big uni day at home, an online uni day. So I am spread out online and on campus. Usually Mondays are just a uni day and then I train in the Arvo. But I do have one client this Arvo. So on the way to training, I'm going to go into work and train one of my clients because we've just moved around their days this week because they're going away at the end of the week. So yeah, that's my plan. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a walk to just have a break and respond to some messages and stuff and then study for a few more hours before I head out to train and do a client on the way to training. This lighting is making me shiny ads. My client is a weapon and lifted amazing. Now I'm heading to training and also my computer would not switch on and I'm kind of scared because it has like all my uni stuff on it. But... Definitely the best part of my day. Creates the body. Is that an owl? Woo! Got my high beams on. Actually, that, that's really good for the lighting. So I have a bit of an early start this morning for work and then I work for roughly four hours this morning and then again for roughly three hours in the evening. So it's like a big day, like I'm there before 7 a.m. and then I'm there till 8 p.m. roughly. In the middle of the day, I just go to the library, smash out heaps of work. I have an online class and then I try to get as much work as I can in that short gap. And then I also have a gym session. Um, it's not a short gap, but the gym session makes it a shorter library gap because then I have to travel to my gym and back and then do my session. That's like three hours altogether. So it's raining. It's literally the best. I hate that I say literally now. Literally. It's the best sleep in weather right now. I was in a good sleep. I can laugh.
taking like a little five minute margo tea snack break before my second shift and i'm just like counting how much roughly protein i would have had today i think this is 30 grams of protein i had another one in the morning that was 20. two protein bars that's an extra 20 from 10 10. 30 plus 20 is 50 60 70 70 grams of protein say my lunch was about 20. i'm at like 90 grams of protein already getting tired so it's almost five classes end at seven and then i'll take like half an hour to set up for tomorrow and then i'll get home around eight ish Wednesdays are a big uni day on campus, but it alternates. So every other week I have a worse day than the other. So like one week I'll have eight hours back to back because I have two four hour labs. I have a chem lab and a molecular biology lab. And then every other week, the molecular biology lab is just a tute and there's a report due. I'll either finish at like 3 p.m. from that tute because it's shorter than the lab or I finish at 5 p.m. But this week I had the report due. So it was just the four hour chem prac and then the toot and that report that causes me so much grief but i have did so much work throughout the week and on the weekend that i was able to finish it and submit it while i was there like last last time or oh, i stayed till the last minute so i just got to training a bit late um and then i had to come home and do it till late because do it midnight on the day of our tutorial anyway i just stayed in the library after the shoot and worked on that until it was done anyway i'm really rambling and i have to go so i get to training on time and the chem lab today we had a a piece of work for a teacher so it made me really appreciate i was shocked because i had forgotten that there were dickhead teachers out there the last like seven years which is the last half of high school and the last four years of uni i've had beautiful teachers like i've been so lucky all the teachers i've had i've loved they've been great i forgot that there are mean teachers out there the lab lady today was this mean old lady she was so mean i was blinking back tears for half of it and i ask a lot of questions in chem because i struggle with it i this is my first time ever doing chemistry but when I tried to ask her, she got so angry with me and she was having a go at so many like individual class members. She told this guy that was near me, she like had a, she attacked him. She was like, I'm, I'm going to mark you as absent because this isn't good enough. I'm going to say you didn't attend. And I was just there like, what the fuck? This bitch needs to calm the fuck down. Why are you a teacher if you don't like people? Students. Seriously, people don't come in knowing everything. That's why they're there to learn. So if then they don't know it, why don't, like, oh my gosh, I can't. She was evil. Part of me was like, don't cry, don't be a little bitch. And then another part of me was like, I kind of want to walk out of here and be like, fuck you, I'm going to go and complain, you're, you're awful. And then when we left, the whole class was like tense. And I was just like, well, she was a bitch. Then we were at the lockers and everyone was like, yeah, what the hell? Like she was, we were waiting to see who cries first. And in my head, I was like, it's going to be me. <laughs> but anyway, so... I enjoyed it every other week until this week because I had a lovely teacher. Honestly, why are you a teacher? I wanted to be like, babe, if you, what, 
why don't you get a job that suits your personality? Like, work in a call center or something where you can abuse people over the phone. Got that from Kath and Kim, that idea. But anyway, uh, so much uni work all the time. What is this shape? <laughs> Bald egg vibes. Anyway, I'm going to head straight to training and then get changed. I packed all my training stuff and left it in the car so I can just get changed there. having a little bit of downtime i usually have like dinner and downtime and then i'll do some more study tonight but um i'm just filling you guys in because i realized i used to be when i was like really bad with my ad i would not touch white rice because i was afraid of it i was like it's too processed process is not whole enough but what the hell it's delicious it's too hygiene like it's a great freaking carbohydrate and sauces like anything that like this chicken has like flavor there's some sauce on the salad i would not touch it but <sighs> such an unhealthy mindset like honestly bro i'm vibing bridgerton okay that is wednesday i'll see you guys tomorrow morning it's thursday i'm feeling really tired you can kind of see my eyes have that like tired eyes vibe um <laughs> i feel good but just underslept like i've just been going to bed too late lately thinking like i can sleep not sleep in but you know get enough sleep because i don't need to get up super early and then i just like naturally have been waking up really early but anyway so i did my gym session my second gym session this morning and now i'm heading home because i have a full day of like online uni I have a couple of classes um, and then I also have a few gaps where I'm just going to study because I have a mid-sem next week um, and then this other I have work but yeah I usually do this second gym session on a Friday and have been doing a double day if you guys have seen some of my recent vlogs I'll do like a gym session and then fuck it's a school zone fuck it's a school zone forgot about it being a school zone uh, I hope there was no camera there Way. <laughs> Far out, bloody school zones. <sighs> that would happen to me, it's almost 9.30. Um, and one time I got a fine for going 45 in a school zone, 46, and the school zone's 40, and it was 3.56, and the school zone ended at four. Like, come on. Anyway. Um, cool. <laughs> anyway like and subscribe so I can earn money from this and then pay my fine anyway um I usually do my gym session the second one and then go straight to training on Friday and I just want to like split them up so I'm not like flat at training like it's not ideal so I am trying out going on Thursday in the morning before my online uni day but I know I'm gonna be tired because well every day is big but like after like six hours of studying in online classes, I then go and work tonight. But anyway, such is life. Uni life sucks. I can't wait till you don't have to worry about 
you can, you know, work and do life without worrying about, oh, I also have to do a billion hours of study and classes as well. has been wild the sun and oh it's just been raining all day but like wow uni and studying is just draining like spiritually <laughs> really nice tracky back weather so the good thing about my job is i'm literally in a hoodie and trackies i love that for me just finished this morning's shift it's now 10 40 and i'm gonna head to the library for a massive study day fridays i have work in the morning and then i'll smash out uni in the library and then go to the track tonight for training and i kind of just wanted to do a class like one of the classes at the gym where i work so i said to my boss because he was here this morning um that i might come back and do the arvo session and he was like honestly just jump in with the class when you run it today like the um 9 30 class they're all so chill they're all awesome so i did <laughs> and it was like an upper body session my arms got lactic like it was a lot of volume of reps but anyway so that was cool um but yeah that's friday i'm gonna head to the library and I have two lectures to do, I have a mid -sem next week to study for and then heaps of freaking homework and pre-lab work and it's ridiculous and I freaking hate uni but yeah, anyway. It's freezing. It is 4.30, so I was only in the library, only. I was there for five and a half hours, and the lighting's so bad, so I'm gonna walk backwards. I've hit a wall, I've hit a wall. I'm so tired from studying. I kinda wanted to not go to stay and study till way later, but I was just so dead from like, my brain's just like doing so much work. I have to get up at 5 a.m. tomorrow for work, um, cause I'm covering the Saturday morning shift. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to go home and have an early night, but then Ella convinced me to go. She didn't even convince me. She just said like, you should come. And I was like, okay, say no more. <laughs> so I'm going to go in to see how my foot goes and just like listen to it. I'm going to go train, then go home, have the quickest nighttime routine and try and get to bed not too late because I have an early start tomorrow and a huge study day. And I want to like actually not be, I want to be alive and know what's going on.
morning happy saturday sorry being that cringy happy saturday um i is tired <laughs> all right we're out here in the bathroom because the lighting's cute with this mirror this morning i coached the saturday classes sorry i'm just unwinding this um yeah i coached the saturday classes this morning which i don't usually do so it was an early start honestly i could not fall asleep last night like i was having anxiety over the fact that i had to sleep as soon as I went uh, I tried to go to bed at nine and I just in my head I was like if you don't fall asleep instantly you won't get eight hours of sleep because I had to get up early so then I just didn't fall asleep like the whole night and at like 3 a.m I contemplated like coming early and just doing my workout before the classes and then I was like that is so stupid just lie down and at least like rest close your eyes and just like get rest Anyway, so, but the classes are so much fun. Like, I love all the members at our gym and it was really fun. Um, and then I did my own session after because I wanted to join in the Saturday workout because it's like a team cardio workout. So it's like super fun. And I was planning on jumping in because I was coaching. I didn't get to. So I did my own session after. And next week I want to jump in the 7 a.m., not the 6 a.m. Because... So today I'm having a study day with Kiara at the library. So we're literally just going to be at the library for like eight hours from open to close and just smash up study because we both have some mid sem exams next week. Uni life. We were too busy to like not study, but then we're like, let's study together um, to catch up. So I'm, I'm actually really excited. It's making a study day seem much better by doing it with a friend. So I'm going to head to the library. I'm going out her way. Um, and then we're gonna smash out a solid study day. I have a to-do list of all the study that I really want to get done today But also no pressure on myself because oh the amount of times I've like given myself a to-do list And it's just unachievable and then I'll stay up all night because I'll be like I can't rest until it's done and it's just ridiculous. So I put on sunblock and I feel like I look like Bruce Jenner like a waxy and like <laughs> anyway, um shiny so yeah, I'm going to go head to the library and smash out a study day with Kiara. And that's going to be Saturday. Honestly, like last night when I wasn't able to sleep, I was just lying. I'm so shiny right now. Wow. I was just lying in bed being like, I want to fast forward to Saturday night where I can like get home after a big day, smash out a workout, worked in the morning, did a solid day of study and then get home and watch Bridgerton. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Um, yeah. So I'm wearing like a little tracky fit today because comfort and vibes. Anyway, I'm rambling. Mm -hmm. 